back. Uh, real quick, I just want to apologize. I just noticed in my last three videos that the game view, the gamepad viewer at the bottom wasn't working, uh, but it should be working now. Uh, you can see over there, uh, Phantom Striker just spawned. You don't have to worry about him because if you're tucked in the corner away like this, there's no way he'll, he'll uh, ever be able to reach you. So now we're going into Tower 2. The end of this is the boss rush where you'll have to fight every order no quarter night again. Be careful coming through here. You can damage boost off of this jellyfish. There's a few other ways to get through that part, but that's probably the simplest. Destroy this block. Burst over here. Don't throw a bomb while you're bursting, because you'll float right into those spikes. Grab that checkpoint. I find that to be the easiest way to kill that samurai. That's going to be the fastest way to get through that room. If you're having trouble, feel free to just take your time. There's a chicken in here. Burst over here. Damage boost off of that wisdom. Now jump, and then do your uh, burst and jump again. That way you don't land on here. Oh, sorry. If you don't jump before bursting right here, you're only going to be able to land down here, which that's fine. You're just going to lose a couple seconds. Come along the top, there's no ceiling up here, so you don't need to be worried. Uh, you do need to worry about those Jawas, so be careful for them. This is an auto-scroller right here, and unlike the last vertical uh, auto-scroller we saw, there is dangerous stuff in here, so you need to be careful. There's also these crushers that are going to ruin your day, so be careful for them. I like to grab that music sheet just because I have nothing better to do. The speed at which you get through here isn't super important, so you don't need to play optimally. You just need to get to the top by the end of the auto-scroller. The neat thing about this is that if you get through fast enough, you can get into these blocks before they spawn, which will also keep you from aggroing the enemies. actually got in there without destroying the blocks. But if you can't do that, that's fine. There's a chicken right there. If you're fast enough, you can get there and then back here before the auto-scroller stops. That way you don't lose any time from healing. These three plates, it's random what's going to be in them. There's a chance for a bomb, there's a chance for carrot, and there's a chance for chicken, and also a chance for chicken and tonic. And now we're coming up to the boss rush. The order you fight everyone in is random, except that uh, that poor knight is going to be within the first three fights. And shovel knight's going to be at the end. So, put your skills to the test, do everything you were doing with the first time, except you can use the staff of striking against the bosses now. You want to try to get near the center every time you uh, kill a boss. Propeller Knight's a lot safer in boss rush because he's not going to make the pits. There's not too much to say, you're just going to have to do a lot of practice here.
since you have full power stack, you're gonna be burning through these bosses pretty quick. At higher levels, you're gonna want to finish uh, the boss rush with two health or less for the same reasons we did Shovel Knight. But uh, until you're at the competitive levels, it's not really worth the effort. And now you can finally see what happens if he throws chest to you. Since we missed that the first time around. Shovel Knight's coming up. You're going to want to start off the same way. Let him poke you in the corner. And then you're going to want to cycle him with a uh, staff and then jump and bomb. If you're going at it with full health, he's going to be... He's going to use his uh, phase locket. Like that, just wait towards the end, and then go back to stun locking. Once again, wait for it to end. Staff, staff bomb. Sometimes he's gonna mess you up, and that's fine. Ideally, you'll have a bunch of tonics to take care of you. And then try to jump close to him, that way, the uh, animation of him popping up and killing you doesn't take so long. Don't mash through here, because anytime you press start, you're going to pause. So just wait for the cutscene to end. It's going to come back up. There's going to be a little bit of dialogue. Wait for the dialogue to pop up. Then press start. Going to go back down. Wait for the dialogue. Press start. Again, don't mash through that cutscene. That's going to take a lot of practice. You're you're probably going to die a few times going through there. Just uh, make sure you're stocked up on tonics. And uh, it's not that big of a deal. And now for the last Tower of Fate lair, we're going to be fighting the Enchantress and the final boss.